I want to talk about dung beetles and about the importance of beetles and, and how they're part of the prairie also. And so when I talk about the soil and about recycling and about nutrient recycling and all of this, I think of, I think of a dung beetle and how important a dung beetle can be to me. And so when I'm using insecticides and larvicides and stuff on cattle that pass through the cow and go into the dung and kill the dung beetle and we got all of these problems, I often wonder sometimes about how important is a dung beetle? Um, is he more important than some flies on some cows? Or is the flies on the cows more important than the dung beetle? Now. Once again, through marketing, when I visit with my insecticide representative, he tells me how many flies and how I can kill all these flies and everything. But anyway, so this dung beetle, I talk about different things, how important they are, and I think about this dung beetle and the work that he does. And he can take a, a dung pat within a few days, and they got, they got tumblers, and they got tunnelers. And tunnelers can just take it and just take it straight down into the zone. And they'd tunnel right underneath, right underneath the dung pat, and they just take it straight down into the soil. And the tumblers tumble up a ball of dung and they roll it around over here and then they dig a hole and they bury it, and that's where they raise their young in that in that ball, in that dung ball. So they're tumbling, a, they're rolling a, a, a dung ball. So they're both very important. But both of them dig a hole and they bury the dung into the soil, which does two or three things. It recycles the nutrients of that dung pat quickly down into the, and puts it down into the ground where it builds organic matter. And they also, in that tunneling action, they create these pathways for water to infiltrate down into the organic matter that's underneath in the big sponges. And when we talk about water and rainfall, I get very greedy with rainfall. And I, I would love to share with you, but I want to keep every drop that falls on this ranch, I want to keep it on this ranch. And then when the ground gets clear full, and then it comes back up in the form of seeps or springs and runs down and gets in the creek and goes to my neighbors, then he can have that water. Otherwise, I don't want any water to run off. I want every bit of water to stay on here. Because like I said earlier, the four main events of this prairie, the evolution of this prairie, is rainfall, sunlight, grazers, and fire. And it, not in any one common, it, it takes all four of those events. And those are events, they're not practices, they're events that happen. And so when rainfall, the amount of rainfall that you get and the amount of water that you can store in your soil, that's how important everything really is. And so I try it, so these dung beetles, one little bitty beetle can help me. And I don't, I don't pay him nothing. I don't, I don't he, and he works for me here on the ranch. He's part of this whole system. And so how can I, how can I make a better life for him? I got some flies on my cows. What do I do? And so there's different processes we can do to maybe help out. And one of them, the newest one we're trying, is a repellent, a natural repellent for ticks called garlic. And we're putting garlic in our mineral now, um, and we're feeding garlic to our cows, and it looks like it's helping to repel ticks. Garlic is how, and it looks to me like it's helping a little bit on the fly control also. Maybe not, maybe it doesn't help at all on the flies. But I'm willing to try anything that'll help with the ticks. And, um, and I, I think there's other ways of doing things rather than just trying to rope a cow and drag her through a gate. I think there's other ways to get that cow through the gate. I think we try to overpower with insecticides and chemicals and all of this kind of stuff, because that's just the way we operate. We, we're going to rope that cow and we're going to drag her through that gate. Instead of moving the gate or working with her or training her or whatever, 
we, do, we just rope her and drag her through, and maybe that's not the best way to do it. Same way with this. Maybe we need to find a different solution for flies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm.